It's the devil. I mean, he's a monster. New tonight, a man now behind bars and charged with murder in the gruesome killing of a 24-year-old humble woman. But as Fox 26's Abigail Dye reports, CART documents say he has ties to several different Houston shootings and could even be connected to the disappearance of a Baytown woman. Raji Anthony, it is really scary to think about. In this case, it's an absolute web. The court documents say that shell casings and a vehicle, that's what connect this suspect to multiple different shootings. And the family of the woman that he's accused of killing, they say that they hope their daughter's case brings justice to anyone who was hurt by this man. She didn't have to do what you did to her. You know what I mean? Like, you didn't have to leave her laying in the middle of that road shot, I mean, dead. You didn't have to beat her the way you did. 24-year-old Megan Rose was found severely beaten and shot nine times on Anagnost Road. It's devastating. There's no words for that. Like, who I does mean. that? Court records say that phone GPS data put Quan Sergio Flowers at the scene at the time of Megan's death. These records detail a sinister story of other crimes Flowers could be connected to. And then to hear about everything else that he's possibly done, you know, to other people, it's like he's the devil. Now Flowers is arrested and charged in Megan's murder. Investigators found shell casings and a video of a dark colored sedan, which they now believe is a Chevy Malibu at this murder scene. And records say that a ballistics test confirms that the shell casings found at the murder scene match those found at a shooting scene in March in South Houston when a man drove up in a Chevy Malibu and shot another man in the face. Now shell casings from both of these scenes match the shell casings found in yet another shooting from April when an apartment complex was shot up in Southeast Houston. Now records say that investigators talked to a juvenile girl who lived in that apartment and she told officers that she was lured into someone's car just the week prior. The man tried to sexually assault her and offered her drugs and she said this man went by the name Country. She also gave officers an address where she thinks that man lives. That address is the same exact address associated with the person of interest in a missing persons case out of Baytown. On April 23rd, Callie Goodwin was reported missing. And records say that she told a friend she'd be staying with someone named Country. Yes, the same name that our juvenile gave officers earlier that month. Now, officers went back to that juvenile, showed her a photo of flowers, and she confirmed that Flowers is indeed the man who identified himself to her as country. Now, records say that police found Flowers and arrested him while he was driving a Chevy Malibu, the same car believed to be connected to all three of our shooting scenes. Now, as for Goodwin, Baytown police say that she is still missing. I hope that, that he don't get out and we, not only do we get justice for Megan, Justice for all the families. For all the other ones that... Anybody that he shot or killed or you know, anybody that he's ever done anything to. Now, Flowers did have a bond reduction hearing here at the courthouse today, but that reduction was denied. His bond sits at $450,000. And today, as I was looking into him, I found a very lengthy criminal history that he racked up in South Carolina. His in South Carolina, he, he has been charged with uh, multiple violent crimes, including murder. 